So we talked about quite a few different types of arithmetic and, and the operators that we can use in JavaScript, right? Uh, this came back, instead of it saying 8 times 2, which was 16, uh, it said it was 11 because the multiplication took place first. If I was just going to list the operators in order, we have parentheses, which allow me to uh, basically force something to happen in a specific order. Uh, we would have exponentation next, and then multiplication, division, uh, would happen after that. Those are both, they have the same level of precedence. Then we'd have addition and subtraction. And then finally, we would have our assignment operator. So like over here, if I said uh, 5 plus 3, x would get 8, not 5, and then later on add 3 under something. Okay, The equal sign always happens last. But then these things happen in this order. Now there are there are a few more operators. Uh, if, you, if you just Google W3Schools arithmetic, uh, you'll see something that looks like this. And so there's a nice big table here, right? And we'll talk about a lot of these things throughout this course. Uh, but for now, I just want you to recognize that arithmetic operators uh, happen in that order that we just said. Okay, so let's say I wanted this to output 16. Let's say I want to do this addition first. All I'd have to do is just wrap that in parentheses and then that the, print, the addition will take place first. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. And... Let me update this to the right HTML file. And you can see now it says 22. Let's see why. Okay, uh, x is now equal to 8. And then we said 8 plus 3 is 11. And then times 2 is then 22. Okay, if I say divided by 2, okay, watch what happens. Again, it'll just go in order. And so after we get that 22, it'll then divide it by 2 and output 11. Okay, uh, but if I say... Uh, to the second exponent, so if I say 2 squared, okay, now this is actually going to happen first, okay, well, outside of the parentheses. So we'll have our 8 plus 3, which is 11, times 2 is 22, and then we'll do this first, so it'll be 4, and so it'll be 22 divided by 4. Let's watch it, whoops, and then we end up with 5.5. And so hopefully this helps being able to see this arithmetic take place like this a little bit. Uh, if you're not comfortable with it, I would just say go ahead and practice it. Uh, a really easy way to practice it is if you go into the console, uh, I can just say 5 plus 2. And I can actually render JavaScript in here. Or I could say 5 plus 2 times 3 divided by uh, 4. And I can see what that's going to be and kind of think through that to help me kind of get a handle on this. Uh, same thing with parentheses. If you want to use an alert in here, uh, that's totally fine. Uh, it just renders your JavaScript and it works out great. So this is a really good way to practice um, and we'll talk about more of this in the next video.